What's good? What's cracking? It's Jay, and you already know I'm trapping. And welcome to my episode two review of Sword Art Online Two. And this episode was much better than the first episode. The first episode was pretty boring, and nothing really happened that episode. It was all just like a build up to build up the plot. But this one was a lot more interesting. We got to see the secondary um, protagonist slash heroine. Um, her name is Shino. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Shino, and she's she's a she, her role in the game is a sniper, and she's re highly regarded as the best sniper in the game, at least from her clan. And what happened much in this episode was it was pretty much like a clan battle between her clan and the other one, and Shino looked like Shino was just a complete badass throughout the whole entire thing. Like, I'm already loving her character way more than Asuna, and I'm so glad that she's gonna be the second pro secondary protagonist instead of her. Although Asuna still will appear in as like a supporting role, Shino is pretty much just gonna be like. She's pretty much gonna be like. A secondary protagonist. Hopefully, no freaking bullshit damsel in distress shit happens with her like it did in Asuna. That shit was just annoying. But honestly, like she, she like so far, Shino is a badass. This girl was, her clan was so cr ready to just bitch out and be like, nah, nah, we're scared, we don't want to do this. And Shino was like grabbing the phone, like, man, fuck up. And she, yeah, as soon as she told them, man, fuck up, they man the fuck up, and they were like ready to fight. And oh man, like, like around the ending of that like fight, Shino just turned like went complete badass mode. Oh man, like I don't, I don't want to spoil anything because y'all have to see this yourself. She just like went in. And regarding other stuff, I really do like how, like, since we actually got a good look at Gun Gale online than we did last episode. Last episode, we only just got to saw like that, that, um, it was like this last clip part and she was like firing her sniper. And pretty much this episode starts off where that ended off. And like it, Gun Gear Online, it really looks more like a game than Sword Art Online did. Like Sword Art Online felt more like a fantasy world. Like they, these people just got trapped in a fantasy world and don't know how to get out. Gun Gear Online actually looks like a video, like a video game, like an MMO, and I really do appreciate that. Because I remember I was watching my friend Corey's review, also known as Mr. Reckless Penguin, another anime YouTuber. He talked about how Sword Art Online didn't you know, feel like a game the way um, Lock Horizon did, which is an anime I haven't watched. And for most of the part, I do agree, but this one looks a lot, lot, lot more gamey, if I can use that as a thing. Other than that, the main downfall to this episode was that we didn't get to see Kirito go inside the game. Like, spoiler, like that's a spoiler right there, but Kirito did, still did not enter Gun Gill online. Like, towards the end of that, we all saw them in um, ALO, the last MMO Kirito was in, which ended off sort of online too. The second half, which is ass, by the way, we saw them in ALO, like, like all the all the old characters, you know, Lizbeth, Silica, um, what's her name? I keep forgetting Kirito's cousin's name, so I'll just call her in-game name Leafa, and and then there was Kirito, Asuna, and Yui. I think that was her name. It's that little girl they found in Sword Art Online and called their daughter. And yeah, pretty much episode ended there. But I think I'm pretty, I'm a hundred percent sure. That he will enter Gun Gale Online in the next episode. So I don't know if this is just her way of trying to slow the pacing down, make the pacing go well. But I'm 100% sure he'll end up in Gun Gale Online next episode because even, like, at the end, it just seemed like that way because, like, he wanted. I don't know what, it looked like he probably wanted to tell Asuna that he was gonna enter a new game. But. Other than that, that pretty much is it this episode, so it just had a lot of action, but since Kirito didn't give going to the game, I'm gonna have to hold the score as a 7.5. So it was de it was decent, you know, it wasn't bad like the first episode, but it was decent, so 7.5 for this episode. Um really, really, really hyped for the next episode because I'm 
100% sure Hirto is going to enter the game. But that's it for this review. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next week or later with my Real Wars review. So once again, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.